zomygodatcj.com. Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from zomygodatcj.com, and today we're going to take a little look at contacts on the Nokia N900. All right, so um, contacts on the N900 is actually very well organized. You can have your whole contacts list there. Um, there's kind of scrolling, so you can keep on scrolling. Uh, you'll also see there are thumbnails for people if you've assigned a display picture to them. Of course, if you don't want to scroll through the whole list, you can just type a name over there and it will show you the contact right there. So pretty, pretty cool. Now the N900 actually pulls in um, contacts from your phone book, from your IM accounts, uh, anything basically. And um, you might have a couple of duplicate contacts there. But luckily the N900 actually lets you uh, merge contacts so that if you do have any duplicate contacts, you can merge them. To do that, all you have to do is click on the name of a contact and go to Merge Contact. Likewise, you can merge um, any other names or appearances of the contacts you have and then select Done. And there you go. So as you can see, you can merge any uh, contact into one where you have all your um, IM accounts, all your phone numbers, whatever you need. And as you can see, they all merged into one contact right there. You can also delete the contact, edit, add more details, or send the contact card, uh, whatever you would require. You can also create a shortcut to call this contact from the home screen. Likewise, if you select on the SMS, you can send a message to them which appears in the uh, messaging app or if you select one of the IM accounts you can either uh, send them a message on their IM account of course you have to be online to do that you can also tap on the picture of the contact to add more fields or delete any field or change the display picture whatever you change the display picture all you have to do is select the picture and then choose a new picture in the main contacts application you can also choose to arrange them by availability or by any recent contacts that you added or interacted with but I prefer to keep it alphabetically organized you can also choose to get your contacts you can also synchronize with other devices imported from a new account copied from your sim cards a whole bunch of stuff over there you can also export these contacts uh, create groups uh, edit your information and you can also go to settings where you can choose your display names uh, or delete all the contacts from the device. Now adding a new number to the contact is pretty easy. All you have to do is select or add a number with the dialing pad. Select open contact card and add a new contact. After you fill in the name you can also add more new fields to that. You can add their mobile numbers, email addresses, their AIM, Google Talk, MSN, Skype, Yahoo, Birthdays, addresses, web pages, gender, nicknames, whole bunch of stuff right there. Now, if you choose to go turn your availability uh, to online, you can see which of your contacts are online right now. Of course, you'd have to add your IM accounts over there and select save. While it connects to the network, you can actually uh, use that to see which of your contacts are online right now. So, all you have to do is just go and select sort by availability and you'll see a whole bunch of online contacts right over there where you can interact with them. Of course you can always go to your availability and choose to go offline if you don't want to interact with anybody or choose to go to busy if you are too busy to talk to them. Another cool thing about the N900 is that if your friends have a nickname that's too strange for you, you can choose to edit it and put your own nickname there for you. So as you can see contacts on the N900 is very very well organized. You can have all your IM accounts, all your email addresses imported in, all your contacts right there. For more on contacts on the N900 do check out our post on zomagod.cja.com.